Medication is going to help patients reduce their symptoms while they are taking the medicines. But in some of the more serious psychiatric illness, once the medications are taken off, there's a more than 50% chance that they'll experience a relapse. Learning mindfulness skills is a great way of building the person's personal capacity to be able to help themselves. So when a person feels empowered by having these skills, it really goes a long way towards relapse prevention. In our work, we frequently see patients who suffer from depression or anxiety due to relationship problems. And uh, sometimes one has to calm down in order to have perspective about their current life situation. I do remember seeing this patient, let's call her Jane. Jane was really going through a rough patch uh, with a partner who was particularly abusive. Uh, she had kids and then she was afraid that if she walked away from the relationship, her kids would suffer. To be able to help Jane was we had a variety of interventions through this practice of meditation that over a period of over a year, she was finally able to see that the partner was indeed abusive and a lot of times in the past when she didn't want to leave was due to her own fears and eventually she did find the courage to uh, end the relationship. Many times I think we are ingrained in our very habitual styles of thinking. Um, some may be very dysfunctional ways of uh, coping with stress through learning uh, through mindfulness. Some people have gained the ability to be able to see that some of the, their styles of coping are really unhelpful. And through those insights gained, they are able to reorganize their lives and take steps to improve their lives. My name is Dr. Christopher Chiok. I will be speaking at the Singapore Mindfulness Conference on 23rd August. See you there.